sometimes it's a bit of a waiting game with the baggage. So we could people watch. See what they're doing, see who they're talking to. When you're a baggage rover, I consider it being a hunter. You're always paying attention to see who may look suspicious or... Sometimes you just want to do a random pop. So let's do a random pop. How you doing? Can I see a passport, please? Yeah. It's a volume game. We search a lot of bags, and a lot of times it's negative. All right, well, we're going to just do a quick bag check. Okay. But she was by herself, and she had a lot of bags. So we're just going to look and see what we find. Okay. You have to turn this. All right, good. This is for my auntie. When my auntie, when my uncle come in, somebody take okay. everything. So is this your bag or no? No. Oh. When you say, oh, this is not my bag, then all of our alerts go way high because we're wondering what the heck is in that bag. Everything for my uncle. What's your uncle's name? What's your uncle's name? No, 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 I don't. What is your uncle's name? I forgot. You forgot? My cousin, the wife is my cousin. From your cousin husband? Yeah. The wife is going to come get the bag? No, a husband. The husband? Yeah. All right. She gave you the bag. Did you even open the bag to see what's inside? I don't know. It's just you don't... crazy, but I don't know. It's going to be good. Why are you taking somebody else's bag? If it's not your bag, you shouldn't be taking it. You don't know what's all this. What is all this? So much stuff. What is this, melon? Uh -huh. Unidentified liquid. What is this? You, you don't even know what this is. Nothing. You don't know nothing, huh? What is this? What the hell? What is that? Narcotics, drugs. Do you know what it is? No. You don't know what it is because it looks like cocaine. You don't know? No. I don't know. We'll have to test it. Oh, definitely. Let's see what the heck this stuff is. And I was just analyzing. Starch, baby powder, and dextrin from corn. Yeah. OK. Huh? All right, yeah. If it was cocaine, it would have said that. So we tested it. It was negative. But this lady has a lot of stuff. All right, what else? Put the next bag up there. Right, put it up here. Yeah, this place is loaded. We are currently on our way to a briefing with the supervisor of the HSI Miami Marine Smuggling Group. His group at the seaport and our group at the airport work really closely together to combat criminal activities that are happening throughout the Miami port system. We are going to talk about a case where his team seized a yacht that was being used to smuggle a significant amount of cocaine. We have three vessels here that we seized. This is the most recent. South Florida is a boating community. There's tons of boats everywhere, so very difficult to regulate that traffic. We have a pretty decent amount of trade with the Dominican Republic and a lot of uh, recreational vessel activity between the Dominican Republic and the United States. You know, yachts, sailing vessels that are transiting, so that provides opportunities for these organizations to kind of mix in with that legitimate travel and exploit it. 
Initially encountered the vessel coming out of Dominican Republic into Fort Lauderdale, actually. Did a custom search, immediately found five duffel bags full of cocaine right here in the salon area. And then additional cocaine down below. It's all stacked up on this bunk here. They basically used the area behind this bunk. Okay. Cocaine was back in here. 456 kilos of cocaine. Found some more additional evidence in here. One of our principal defendants was actually sleeping there on the trip. He had 40 something thousand in cash. Outstanding. They do an at-sea transfer. So cocaine goes from the boat out of the DR onto this boat, snaking their way through the Bahamas, stopping for fuel, and then into the, into the US. And how many subjects were there? Four were taken into custody, two were arrested. The captain was on this boat that night, but we did release them as we collected evidence. The investigation took a little bit of time, but the plan tomorrow is to go out and execute an arrest warrant for him. We're gonna wait till he comes out of the residence and hopefully prevent a situation where we have to try to track down somebody who's trying to evade getting arrested.